In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a mini four-tier greenhouse for a very low price. This is a greenhouse product which will easily let you grow plants, start seeds in a greenhouse and achieve the next step towards creating a great home garden. The product we are going to see today is available for a very cheap price and even if you had to create your own product, you would have to spend a lot more. See the video description for the product link. So this is how the greenhouse is packaged. It's a neat little package which requires a little bit of an assembly and I'm going to show you the steps to assemble in the next section. And the good news is this assembly requires no tools at all. You can do it all by your hand. This is a four tier greenhouse which means that you're going to have four shelves or four rows of space that you can keep your containers or keep your seed starting mixes at. So the items are all packaged very neatly. Let's uh, take out all the components and see what we got here. The product basically consists of several shelves with sides that you can see right here and then there are the vertical and horizontal poles that you attach to the sides which you see here and there are also wheels which go on the bottom so you can easily move your greenhouse and these are the shelves on which you will eventually place your plants and then have the plastic cover which is right here that creates a greenhouse effect. The first thing you should do is identify and recognize all the parts. That gives you a little bit of idea about all the components that are there. Start by fixing the bottom wheels on the bottom most track. So there are four wheels, two on each uh, side. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the sh bottom shelf as well. Fix the wheels, they go in very easily. And that's how they would look like once assembled. And then what we're going to do is build one tier first, starting from the bottom most tier, moving on to the top. Now I noticed that, uh, you know, the, the flat side should be facing up. So when I was putting the wheels, the rough side was facing up. So just in case you make the same mistake, it's just a handy tip to know that, um, you know, the, the good looking side should be on the top. And these are the side posts that uh, connect the, the racks. There are two long ones which connect to the other end. And there are the vertical ones, these are the small ones, which get connected like that. And now your first tier is done. Now we're going to begin assembling the second tier and the process is just the same. You install the side shelves just like that. Just make sure that the holes are pointing towards each other. That way you can put in those, uh, those long stacks and create the next level. <music>
And now our last step is to install the roof of the greenhouse. All the tiers have now been created. So installing the roof is pretty easy. You just slide it in to the topmost shelf and it snaps in place. So the greenhouse is now looking like a house. So now what we will do is go ahead and install our shelves. The shelves or the racks uh, that will hold your containers, your seed starters, etc. And since this is a four tier greenhouse, they provide four shelves, four trays or four racks. So our assembled greenhouse is looking pretty good. The frames look all nice. The shelves are in place. And the final thing to do is add the plastic cover. This is a plastic cover which creates a greenhouse effect. And it has uh, zippers. There are two that go right up all the way. So let's get into action right away. I'm going to keep some seeds to start with. Seeds which uh, start in a greenhouse germinate quickly as the greenhouse conditions are ideal. And the moisture prevents the seeds from drying out as well. And uh, just for experiment apart from these seeds that should germinate a lot better inside this greenhouse. I am also keeping a couple of curry leaf plants. The curry leaf plants love humidity and moisture. So I'm just gonna try it out and see you know how they do inside the greenhouse. So let's close this up and our greenhouse is completely assembled. Now I assembled this greenhouse in this area which is actually our atrium area. Now the atrium area is a nice place to keep the greenhouse. Some people also add a fan and some furniture to the atrium area and that's what is called a California room here in California. Now I did keep this greenhouse in the atrium for some time but I moved it to the backyard later because it's just easier for me to work with the greenhouse if it's in the backyard. So here is the greenhouse in action. The two zippers are a bit flimsy but okay I mean they don't slide like very easily you can't really do it with one hand this one's okay. Well I just hope they continue to work well because uh, the zippers are an important part of this greenhouse and I'm growing all sorts of seeds inside this now and hopefully they should be germinating soon. Oh, Some of them already started germinating pretty quickly. So that's really the advantage of a greenhouse. The seeds germinate very quickly with the humid temperatures inside. And there are a lot of shells here I have not even used like 50% of those shells. And the good thing is if you have tall pots or tall plants you can just get rid of one of these shells and let your plant grow through like two tiers. So let's close the zip. So I hope you like this mini greenhouse. 
a greenhouse will add a lot of possibilities to your growing especially if you have severe winters so I encourage you to try it out for this price you cannot go wrong happy gardening